if you never want to be posted about, you will not be posted yeah. about. It almost feels weird in this day and age yeah. that people Don't wouldn't know. know. On a yeah, people that need to know know, and that's really all that matters. Yeah. And I'm like, if someone saw me walking down the street, I wouldn't be like, hide in a bush, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. I'm like no one knows. No one can know your identity. You know. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Femme Tell All podcast. My name is Madison Bellissimo. And I'm Ruth Devereaux. And we're so happy you're here. We are very happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm running out. <laughs> we need to get a call and response. We need, I have to say, we're so happy you're here. And you maybe have to say, fuck you guys. <laughs> and, don't go anywhere. No, I'm joking. Go f- yourself yeah. San Diego. no something cute like that we'll, yeah we'll find it we'll, we'll find our spot coming. it's coming yeah yeah it's in development guys yeah. um so today's episode is actually an article that our friend sent us yes. um a friend and listener about it's a new study that claims that happy couples are less likely to post their partner on social media which is just such a hot take And I'm going to read a little more information on that, Mm -hmm. but I know that we're going to probably have very different opinions on this, which I can't wait to get into. Okay. Um, Okay. So the new study confirmed that um, cynics already, what cynics already suspected, couples who shared their lovey-dovey selfies all over social media might not be as happy as they want the world to believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, The survey, they surveyed 2,000 couples between the ages 18 and 50 and to to take a closer look at their happiness levels and social media habits. The results found that those who share three or more couple selfies per week are allegedly 128% unhappier than their more discreet counterparts. 128%? That's what they're saying. And they're saying it only gets worse. Only 10% of the selfie-crazed couples considered themselves very happy. Meanwhile, 46% of couples who are more private on social media said they were much happier. The study suggests that, quote unquote, trust issues could be causing these unhappy couples to post more often on social media. The number one reason for couples sharing their relationship online was to express that they or their partner is taken. Mm. Interesting. Mm. There's so much to get into there. There's a lot. So Um, what are your initial thoughts? As a public couple. I would say fucking haters, man. Because <laughs> You're going to hate. <laughs> Don't hate on my love. <laughs> um, no, I completely disagree. Like, I think in all of my previous relationships, I rarely sh- shared any photos. Mm-hmm. I rarely posted about my mm-hmm. partner. Like, I didn't, I just didn't put anything out there. Yeah. With Neil, it's like the complete opposite. We mm. post our workouts all the time. We post about things that we do together all the yeah. time. Like, w- we're consistently sharing our lives and sharing like moments between us and things that are important to us. Mm -hmm. But it's because I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I want to share it. I'm so in love. I'm so proud of the person that I get to share my life with that I want to share that. Yeah. And I also trust him vehemently that I don't care who's to see him, who was to respond to it, who was to reach out to him. I know that he would never do anything Mm -hmm. that it was more so the opposite when I wasn't as happy in relationships. I didn't have anything I really wanted to share. It did feel like I was putting on a front or show like putting something out to the world that wasn't real Mm -hmm. by posting about these relationships when I wasn't in a place that I was as happy as I am now. Mm -hmm. Whereas now I feel confident in, in sharing my happiness because it is so real for me. Yeah. I was going to say, do you feel like it's more of a flex to be like, like you were saying, I'm not worried about yeah. Neil receiving any like girls, like, but it's more like a we're together, yeah, and we're fucking happy about it. Like, I didn't do you feel think like of it like that? that. I did, but I sure, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of it like that, but like I, um, maybe maybe it is a little bit of like I am also extremely attracted to my partner. Mm-hmm. That I'm just like you're proud, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm there's like, anything wrong look, with that. But don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> you can look, but you can't touch. Um, interesting. Yeah, I yeah. think that's so fascinating. And do you 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 don't believe? Do you, so do you think that's a hard fast rule for all couples though? No. And I, when you were reading that article just now, the reason I don't think it is is I don't believe that people are in good relationships 
as often as they should be. Mm. And so a lot of times I think the reason when you can take a study with 2,000 people and you're getting a lot of that falsehood online mm. because people are trying to have this image of something that they're actually not working for. Mm. I think you probably will have like that skewed number. Mm. But I also don't think that you can assume because people are doing that, that they aren't happy. Got you. So when you say should, do you mean like that they're they're on like they're purposely staying in these bad relationships or you think that they don't know what it could be and so that they're they're thinking that they're in a good committed sure, relationship yeah. and then they're I think people think relationships are supposed to be hard. Mm-hmm. I think people think that you're supposed to that Struggle you're supposed to like be annoyed with your partner, that you're supposed to be upset with your partner, that you're supposed to like feel all these negative emotions because that's just a part of the long-term relationship Mm. and I don't subscribe to that anymore. I think Mm -hmm. I would have back in the day, but I think if you're working on your relationship and you have any negative feelings and you're talking about it with your partner and you're working through it, 99% of the time you're going to be in a happy relationship. Mm. There's always going to be things that you have to overcome together. There's always going to be things you have to talk through together and learn and continually grow together. But if you're putting in that work, you are happy. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I. Okay. Go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hot take. Hot take. Maybe. I don't think it maybe is. Maybe it's though. a maybe, lukewarm. Maybe it's, it's cold. I think it's probably. I think what. Uh, I'll let you say it first. Thank you. I appreciate Sorry. it. I know, I know you, you know. You're yeah. anticipating exactly yeah. what I'm going to say. But um, I will say I know some couples mm-hmm. that sometimes I'm like, are y'all happy? Mm-hmm. Like, I think they're doing it yeah. to just showboat. Like, yeah. and again, it's like it feels to a point where it's like an unnatural degree. Sure. Yeah. Um. My brother and I talk about this phenomenon a lot because he's from a different generation than I am, and he always is like, "I don't understand like where we lost the thread and like promposals started mm-hmm. happening and mm-hmm. things like that. Like these huge, mm-hmm. insane romantic gestures, but specifically." for social media, Mm. you know? And he was like, it feels so vapid. It feels so like completely untethered to actual reality and um, uh, authenticity. And I agree with that. Like sometimes I'll see like my man does everything for me and they'll post a post, post, post. And I'm like, yeah, it feels like, are you convincing yourself or are you trying to convince me? And sometimes it feels really natural. You and Neil, it absolutely feels natural. And I, and I have the luxury of knowing you two very well though. Maybe it's just because I don't know some of those, like those are more parasocial relationships, but some couples that like post constantly about their partners, sometimes I'm like, I do have a moment of like, is that real? Yeah. yeah, Like, is there trouble in paradise? And this is a way to make yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not only yourself, but your partner feel like everything's good. Look at us. Like we're the perfect couple. And you hear a lot of the time, sometimes with these like more like influencers, Mm -hmm. right? That their whole job is social media. So like that's where they're really posting, right? And then sometimes they'll have like a messy divorce Mm -hmm. online. You know, everyone knows about it. And they're like, we haven't been happy for six years. And you're like, you were posting like, he got me the best Christmas present and blah, blah, blah. And you're, yeah, and they're constantly posting and talking about how good the partner is and how they have this perfect picturesque life. Yeah. And I think social media has really ruined that mm. to a, a certain degree. Yeah. I think it is wonderful. It's a wonderful tool. And you and and Neil have found your like cute things that you do yeah. continually post yeah. because it's like your gym things. Yeah. Like he feels really yeah. um uh strongly about that. I think he obviously coming off of working for the gym where he would post for that all the time. Mm-hmm. This is a new outlet that he's posting. And I think it's to keep himself motivated yeah. and accountable. And he likes it. He's inspiring. Yeah. That's his. That's a part of his deal. So yeah. then now it's the thing that you guys could do together. Do together. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. But I do think there's sometimes when it's like the selfie things, mm. like oh my man, or like you'll see the like low key scripted like videos yeah. of like I asked my man to do like when the orange peel theory was going around. How many of those were like? But then you told you, the husband. You feel like you can sense that. Like there's yes. a genuineness that comes across regardless of how hard somebody's trying. A hundred percent. And I think that. I think that you can sense that even if in a photo sometimes if it's so staged, if it's so like like planned out, like then mm. that isn't like a moment in time. Like the other day I posted the video of like Juice greeting Neil at the yeah, door. So sweet. And like 
I did pl- I did plan that because I knew every yeah. time Neil comes to the door, like, but I didn't tell like Neil I was planning yeah. it. But it was, but it is. You still know there's a genuineness behind it because, mm-hmm. like, I wanted to share that because it was something that means a lot to me. Yeah. But like, I think I see other videos too, and I know couples as well that. Anytime I'm around part of that couple, they're talking horribly about their partner. Yeah, right. And then online, it's a completely different this story. Totally different story. And I don't know who they're f- fooling or who they want. Like, I yeah. don't know why that like life online would be more important than your real life that you're experiencing with this person. But I do agree with you in the fact that social media has um, altered our, our, our worlds in so many ways where it almost feels like you creating this life of perception versus what you're really living is more important than Completely. creating the real life. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think a lot of the time you're, you were kind of getting to this question of like, who, wh- who are you doing this for? Or what yeah. are you doing this for? And I really do think a lot of the time it's more for themselves mm. than they think, you know, like it's a way to like, if the, if other people's perception of me is that I'm in a happy relationship, yeah. then I'm, 90% of the way there, yeah. you know? And it's yeah. like, even if you're completely not happy at home, and I think mm. a lot of people do that with their everyday life outside of... Sure. Like, we know that Instagram, TikTok is a highlight reel for the most part. Mm-hmm. And it's true. I think that blurs into relationships as well. Do you think it's like the fake it till you make it sort of thing that where people have been told for so long, just pretend like this is this is and it will be? Kind of. And I think also it's a social currency. Mm-hmm. Like, I think... As far as anyone else knows, if like every time you see this like group of friends or or say you have followers that are paying your bills yeah, and it's like if they think I'm happy, then that's all that matters. I sleep fine at night. Like it's that's like, so it's interesting. It's just an opposition to like how I personally feel. Yes, whereas like course. it's even surpassing relationships. Like I would never want to be boastful about my business, about like. Mm-hmm. My like about like my money about like mm-hmm. anything until I'm actually there. Whereas you even with like that kind of stuff, you see people renting cars, yeah. renting houses, and pretending it's theirs, yeah. and wanting to like put this facade on that they haven't yet achieved, yeah. which diminishes the people that have achieved it. Yeah. And so if we're talking about that in relation to relationships, mm-hmm. you're diminishing the work that I put into my relationship to have those moments that I can share. Because you're creating a moment that isn't real and lying mm-hmm. when you haven't worked to actually have that moment. Sure, I get that. I, I completely get yeah. that. But I would also say some people would argue, like, why are you sharing it at all? Like, you don't need to. Like, what's the— Well, why do, you, why do people get married? Why do people have ceremonies? Like, I'm just saying. Oh, no, no, I'm no, just I'm saying not. other arguments. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting. The no. girls are fighting. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Never but fighting I'm saying, with you. Yeah. I don't know. No. Yeah. It's okay. We yeah. would be allowed to at this point. But I'm saying we really don't. Yeah. But I'm saying, like— I think that people would argue against you and be like, why do I need to fucking see you guys go yeah. to the gym all the Don't. time? Don't. Unfollow hey, me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, like, unfollow, block. Yeah. Like, I agree with you. Yeah. I, com- I completely agree with you. I'm just saying the other side of social yeah. media is some people are so oversaturated with sure. that kind of stuff that they're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it's like, and I, and some of that is um, they're bitter. Sometimes <laughs> it's projection. Yeah. Sometimes it's they're unhappy in their own sure. relationships. Sometimes it's genuinely yeah. they're like, I'm on social media for cat videos and recipes, you know? And it's like, that, as am I. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's where it's like, you just have to kind of gauge. And I agree yeah. with you. If you're like, it's like, you follow me, you know, it's like, yeah. at this point, I'm like, if you don't like the podcast, unfollow yeah. me. You know, I'm like, you, <laughs> I'm like, that's fine. You're going to see it. Yeah. Like, you're going to see videos of it. So, well, then I also, like, I remember somebody told me a while back, they're like, literally people go through social media. It's so quick. It's yes, seconds. It's, it's seconds. It's seconds. Like, like I don't, like, care if you don't like what I'm posting. Yeah. And I also shouldn't be so scared to post what I want to post. No, you should absolutely feel comfortable posting exactly what right. you want to post. And because yeah. I, but I think so many people have this fear and they curate so much of what they put out to the world because yeah. they think it matters so much. Yeah. And it genuinely is a half second of somebody's day. You're so right. And then they're on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Like, they people actually don't care if you're happy in your relationship. No. They like they might the see it and be like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. But they don't, they're not day-to-day thinking like, oh, I wonder how Ruth and Neil are doing. I wonder yeah. if they're talking through problems. Yeah. Like people are on to their next thing. Mm-hmm. And so I understand that there might be an annoyance for somebody that's going through a hard time sure. and they're seeing something and they're yeah. like, wow, like some people would be like, wow, I want that. Other people would be like, that's fucking fake. Yeah. And I think it really is like what somebody is experiencing. Yeah. In their I think own a lot of it is projection. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I will say, um, it, you know, I completely agree with you as far as like 
it's your social media yeah. you and Niels yeah. do whatever the fuck yeah. you want and like the haters are gonna hate yeah. and the lovers are gonna love like how many times am I yeah. liking those stories yeah. you know like yeah. that's where I'm like oh my god so cute yeah. you know it's like the people that enjoy you and support you yeah. and your community are gonna do that well and that's what I come back to even like the prom, prom proposals like mm-hmm. because like those have gotten so crazy but so, so insane but so I guess have engagements online yeah. so have like any kind it's of like same. life moment yeah, yeah. and I, I I'm kind of in the middle of that because for me, memories mean so much. Mm-hmm. And memories that exist only in our brain can fade. Mm-hmm. And so capturing memories in photos and videos, mm-hmm. sharing that to a place. Like sometimes even when somebody's like, how long ago did you start producing? Mm-hmm. I have to go to my Instagram to see the year that I first yeah. posted something because that's kind of my timeline of things that I've done. Totally. Um, so I think I'm in the middle ground where I'm like, yes, if you're just doing it for that specific mm-hmm. reason to showboat or to show people a certain thing. Mm-hmm. But then also that it is such a beautiful memory to be able to go back on. Like if I had that when I wish I could go back to my prom and like yeah. have video of it and yeah. like be able to re-experience it. But like at mm-hmm. my age, yes. <laughs> it wasn't so prominent. Re- well, yeah, yeah, I remember I um, it's archived. I don't think it's on my Instagram anymore, but n- no shade to my friend who asked me to prom. But like I had his prom proposal. It was a picture because he came to my Wait, doorstep. I see it. So sweet. He came to my doorstep and he played me guitar. And and we were friends. We were just friends. Yeah. Like, uh, our sexualities do not <laughs> align. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, he played guitar for me, and he baked me cupcakes, and he spelled them out with prom. That is so, so cute. And I remember posting it, because people were posting, like, yeah. you know, and I got asked out with a huge sign on my garage once. That is like, so cute. And I remember just being like, this is a lot, especially when you're not, sure. you know. Yeah. I also got asked to one prom, he sang in my choir class. That's what I'm saying. I was the generation where it started, like, being That's really cool. big. It was very cool, yeah. but I didn't post that because I didn't know it was happening. That one, yeah. I did not know it was happening, you know. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. And I think about that and I think about my relationships and I think about my, um, relationship to social media as an actor and like as someone that felt really comfortable being public. Like I, I know that there's a lot of, um, drawbacks Mm -hmm. to having a public, uh, persona. Uh, but I kind of had, uh, yeah, Yeah, I kind of signed up, you know, when I knew I was acting, I was like, listen, like people are going to probably know more about me than I want. Yeah. And thankfully, I'm a pretty open book. You are, yeah. But it's interesting na- navigating dating because mm. my longest term relationship that I had, like where social media was really big mm-hmm. and like it's still it's huge now. It's probably arguably the biggest it's been. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like when I was starting to learn the ropes of social media and in college where I felt like really good on Instagram, you know, you're like, it's aesthetic. <laughs> I have photo shoots, you know. I was with my longest term ex then and he didn't have social media for the longest time. And I remember I would just so I would just freely post him when yeah. I wanted and then freely post myself as an actor, you know, all the yeah. time. And it didn't feel I will say the dynamic changed once he got an Instagram and then I almost felt compelled or pressured to post him oh, more because I was like, oh, now he's on it and now I can tag him. And it's sure. like a whole like social dynamic thing. Yeah. Right. And then since then. I have not posted any uh, partners except for my last one, yeah. who uh, the one that cheated. I I post yeah. a, a fucking soft launch, and mm-hmm. that's how crazy social media is getting now. Is like soft launches, hard launches, yeah. and a soft launch for anyone that doesn't know. I'm sure everyone knows, but I'm just going to describe it in case. Um, a soft launch is when you launch a relationship, mm-hmm. but you do it with like a picture of their hand or a picture yeah. of the back of their neck, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with the neck. <laughs> Or like something that's like uh, a picture of you too, but you can't see their face. Yeah. So it's you're you're showing that you're in a relationship, but you're not like showing identifying the are, person. Yeah. A hard launch would be identifying the person what and did doing I it. do. I think you guys did a hard launch yeah. pretty early. You did one of the mirror picks, I think, at his place. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> so cute. I love that series. I'm like, I have little chapters, like your book, you know, like your book talks. And like, I love I love all social media with Ruth and Neil. But yeah, so I remember I posted that and being like, I was, we were boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. when I posted that. Yeah. And I remember being like, all right, he made it to the boyfriend club. Yeah. He gets a he gets a spot on the fucking feed. And it was literally his hand. I gave him nothing. <laughs> I gave him his hand. Arguably. But it was more I, than you had ever done in a yeah, long time. Um, since, yeah. you know, yeah. Chandler. So yeah. I was like, oh my God. So then, so funny though, because then after I got 
cheated on and that whole b- shit blew up in my face. Yeah. I was like, this is why you never fucking post over there. <laughs> I'm like, I had his hand. There's nothing there. <laughs> and it was so funny because I deleted, I have that yeah. post still up, but I deleted that, that picture part, from yeah. the, the post. And, you know, it was like, I was vindicated in that moment. It really yeah. does not matter I could have left that up it doesn't fucking matter but it's so funny deserve it (laughs) well now like dating and navigating dating now and the person that I'm dating currently um is very private and uh we've spoken at it at length and I'm like oh how do I navigate someone that wants to be private because in the past it was kind of like whatever and that last even that last boyfriend that cheated he was he wasn't like post me but he wasn't like you can't post me which he would have had incentive to for me to not post him so he played that very well but (laughs) because then I didn't really post him but I'm saying um yeah it's so interesting now with my current partner that I'm like oh it's interesting that he's like He's a little more private uh, and specifically with the podcast, specifically with social media. And I really respect that. And uh, I want to shout from the rooftops. Anyone that's willing to listen in person, I'm like, here's his picture. Look look (laughs) at how gorgeous he is. And they look so beautiful together. Thank you. I'm I'm obsessed. Like, I'm like, I will show anyone. I'll talk to anyone about him. But then I'm like, on social media, it's so interesting to navigate that with, with, um, um, the respect, the correct, like, yeah. yeah, to yeah. catering to uh, his a boundary of yeah, his, you absolutely. know, yeah. and to me, it's like f- fucking. If you never want to be posted about, you will not be posted yeah. about. But then it's it almost feels weird in this day and age yeah. that people Don't wouldn't know. know. On a larger scale. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, but the people that need to know know. Yeah, and that's really all that matters. Yeah. And I'm like, if someone saw me walking down the street, I wouldn't be like hide in a bush, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know. <laughs> like, no one knows. No one can know your identity. You know? Um, but it's so funny because I'm like, we, we're we very, like, um, we're so integrated into each other's yeah. personal lives now. So it's like we, I talk to his family. Yeah. He talks to mine. Yeah. Like, we see each other all the time. Yeah. We have mutual friends. Yeah. So it's like, uh, and he's met pretty much all of my friends yeah. now at this point. And so, yeah, that's where I'm like, it's all chill. And it's funny because I feel extremely happy in this relationship. So I'm like, where's the correlation to that? Where it's not necessarily where we, it was an active choice by both of us. It ended up being, obviously. But it was his preference that led me to being like, oh, yeah, of course we can keep it private. Absolutely. But the truth is, the fact is, like, that's, again, coming back to the what's more important. Is it what's online or what's, like, you're, what you're really what's experiencing? Yeah, and, yeah. like, your real-life experience with yeah. him is so beautiful and yeah. so perfect. And every moment spent together is so beautiful. And you have your own memories together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ruth said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I yeah. mean, you're right. You know, like, and you, you unfortunately are the audience member that hears I me gushing it. about him no, all the time. No, I love it. But yeah. I will be your feed. Just t- <laughs> text me every photo you would ever want to no, post. No, actually, I'm like, these are the photos yeah. of us together. I'm like, I love all of them. Heart, heart, heart. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, and that's so fun because, you know, would I have suspected that of me? Sure. You know, uh, yeah. I don't know if I would have thought that, like, maybe my longest term, like, you know, maybe end game mm-hmm. relationship moving forward. You, you never know, but that's hopefully yeah, everyone hopes for that. Um, you would, you would think that it would be a little more public or at least I, sure. I thought it would be a little more public. And for you me. never know. Like it might shift for you guys as things like, it, yes, it yeah. continue. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's like, I don't think your if wedding you get married, day you have to post photos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm but already there. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, I think that's, it's, it's, it's interesting. And I found this study so compelling yeah. because I was like, I've m- definitely witnessed couples that never post yeah. and I feel like are happier than clams. Like yeah. a, a, everyone in my family yeah, is that's that. True, yeah. Like that, yeah. some of the happiest couples I know, literally I'm like, where is your carbon footprint on like <laughs> on social media? No one knows. Yeah. Like no one knows that you guys are together. Like yeah. only your people know. Sure. Like, but yeah. if someone looked up my brother's Instagram, not a picture of Ida, yeah. you know, yeah. like not a picture. Yeah. Um, Rosa and Tristan have a little more pictures, but it's not as common. Alex and Steve, no. It's interesting. I wonder if it is kind of like depending on the partners and the relationship because – I think that Neil has always posted more than I. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of times I'm just reposting what he posts. And like yeah. I think his comfort level with sharing on social media made me mo- so much more comfortable yeah. with sharing on social media and like made and me he loves more excited about to- you. Yeah. In the best possible yeah. way. Like it's like he genuinely is like championing you as his yeah. girlfriend, you yeah. as his partner. And he he puts that all the time. Like that's it's so clearly, it's not like these like 
weird just yeah. like oh there's Ruth in the background it's sure. like my partner I love her so much yeah. we do this together you know it's like so clear yeah. and I think you're right that was a lot of Neil's preference yeah. that you kind of you know he on. gauged like, if I, you were I, down yeah. and then yeah. you were down and you were yeah. reposting and now it feels comfortable for you yeah. so like I think as we do with all of our subjects we would say like Depends on the partnership. Yeah, yeah. And, and just and go what, what you feels guys, natural yeah. for you. And then not care. Like, if you're super happy and you want to share it with the world, do mm -hmm. it. If you're more private and you want to, like, keep it between you two, mm -hmm. do it. And it really is more so what you're experiencing in real life. The worst would be to feel like you're creating a life that doesn't exist online mm -hmm. just for other people, yeah. but suffering in real life. Yeah, pressuring yeah. Your, yourself or others. Yeah, Because that's one thing too. Like I, sometimes some people will come to me and be like, oh my God, why haven't you posted? Mm -hmm. You know, um, not as much with this relationship because sure. I think I'm gushing in there. <laughs> but I remember with uh, my last partner, yeah. they were like, why, oh, you have a boyfriend and you haven't, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, you know, and I, I think rightfully so. I yeah. was like, I don't know, we're gonna see. Like <laughs> yeah, um, and I just find that interesting because people like uh, pressure that, you know. Yeah. And, and I've, I've even felt that pressure too, like where my friends get into relationships, and if I don't see their partners on their yeah. timeline, I'm going like, mm, do they feel serious about them? <laughs> and that's so ridiculous because yeah. of course they do. You yeah. know, it's like, or or maybe they don't, but that's none of my business, and I can't perceive correctly whether they're posting ad nauseum mm. or not posting at all and mm. I think everyone should kind of take that home as like as much as you even if you see happy couples posting all the time you're never going to really understand what's yeah. the intricacies of that relationship yep. and even if you never see them post online that does not mean that they're not happier than clams at yeah. home. so true and boom. that's my two cents boom <laughs> Boom. But Boom. follow me and Neil for love. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see a beautiful example of love, wa like watch Ruth and Neil. You'll just any day on their story, he like, probably has something posted. Um, <laughs> We're going to do a video today that he's been wanting to do. Aww. But he's like, well, wait till you have your podcast recording and you have makeup on. <laughs> like, like, he, he wanted knows. to do it yesterday. He and knows. I was like, oh, I got to put makeup on. And he was like, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, he's planning out his content. Content he king. He is. He's content really good king. about it. Yeah. But anyway... So that's our two cents. Uh, again, we want everybody out there to be happy in their overall life. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Don't worry about what society thinks about you. Worry about what's happening in your home and your heart. Thank you so much for joining us on Femme Tall. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.